right, everybody, we're back at the Mobile Wall Congress with one of my favorite Wi Fi companies that I have been following now for a long time, Aptilo Networks. And I'm here with CEO Paul Nicholson of Aptilo Networks. Paul, give me the 30 second version of what Aptilo does for the viewers that don't know you. Okay, so thanks for asking, by the way. So, Aptilo Networks, we are a Swedish uh, software company. Uh, and we do service management platform essentially for being able to roll out carry grade Wi-Fi networks. So carrier, uh, Wi-Fi, offloading Wi-Fi, including also ports on the Wi-Fi. So that is essentially what we're doing. So we provide the, the core functionality, including AAA aspects, policy, portals, analytics, everything an operator essentially needs to roll out a very well thought through carrier experience from a Wi-Fi perspective. And you've been doing this now for what more than 10 years? Yeah, we actually uh, 15 years anniversary this year. Ah, right. Okay. Yep. And something like what is it more than? I always get this number wrong. 90 carrier clients. Uh, it's or a little bit above 100 now. Actually. Okay. So we're adding on every day. You you asking so? Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> so that's the reason. So I want to ask you about your new solution that you're you're actually launching here at the Mobile World Congress. Right. It's a venue Wi-Fi. Uh, Venue exactly. Wi-Fi Manager. When, venue Wi-Fi yes. Manager, i got to get the right name yep. right here. Yep. When you, venue Wi-Fi Manager, and it's uh, what is that about? Tell us a bit more about it. So, um, really, I mean, we have had a portal capabilities and a very good solution for an operator to provide services to different verticals, including airports, hotel, hospitality, um, healthcare, any kind of venue, actually. But uh, over the last years, there has been a, a, a change in the market demands uh, between the operator and the venues and the enterprise customers. And essentially, previously, the operator uh, kind of defined the service, put together a look and feel and said, this is what you get, and take it or, or leave it. And they had to live with that. But today, the, the venue owners had so much a high demand on being able to impact the look and feel using that captive portal as a natural tool to communicate with their customers. So it's not only kind of a landing page, it's really a marketing communication platform. And to be able to cater for that, the operator has got a big push from their customers to be able to have more flexibility. So essentially, today, uh, it's equally important for the operator to be able to control what they want to control and need to control. But said that, they also have to be able to give the enterprise or, or their customers the opportunity to have certain flexibility. Right. For example, changing the look and feel. If they have a, uh, an activity within the stadium, you may want to have the right kind of colors on the, on the teams that is playing. Uh, you maybe want to have the right kind of ratings message. You may want to do some commercials. Maybe you want to shoot some uh, information or videos out there that is relevant to that specific events and that is something that was very cumbersome before but of course if you should do that then you need to contact the operator and there is a long process of fixing that with this venue manager that we now kind of launching to the operators the operator can give all that capabilities directly to their customers so they can themselves go in modify that changing that back and forth exactly as they want to send so it's really having two sides of things here it has the, the capability Capability of handling and, and, and making the customization of the, the portal side of it, the landing pages, and then we have a full analytics capability that is working both for the operator, but we can also segment that information and give that directly out to the venues. So you can have information about what kind of devices that is connected, and what they are doing on the network, and you can have what kind of login methods and so on. So you can have a lot of valuable information, and if you have commercial and marketing information in there, you can also see what kind of information they have looked at and so on. So it's a very powerful tool for the venues, but equally powerful for the operator. Well, it's great that you continue to take a leadership role in the Wi-Fi space. We're really looking forward to see, seeing this in action and how it's going to take off over the next couple of years. Uh, Paul, thank you so much for joining us here and have a great Mobile World Congress, as I'm sure you will. Thank you, and the same to All right, Take care. Take care. Okay, Bye-bye. All right, I'm here with Simon Inns uh, of Aptilo Networks. Simon, you're gonna show us a short demonstration of the uh, venue Wi-Fi manager That's right, yes. of Aptilo Networks that's just been launched here at the Mobile World Congress. 
please show us what you've got. I know there's a lot of info here, but we're going to try to do the show, yeah, short version. So what we're showing here is, is really in, in two parts. The first is the analytics interface that we're, we're doing for the, for the venue owners themselves. So the, the idea of this concept is that as a telecommunication operator, to give you the ability to be able to sell a service onto the, the venue themselves. So the first thing that the venue is interested in is, is a lot to do with the analytics. And here we can actually see two completely different views of this. One is uh, Saxon, which is our, our operator, and they have the sort of the normal kind of traffic statistics about downloaded data and the session count you have. But what we can also do here is that we can show this interface from the perspective of the venue themselves. So in this particular case, the the, the uh, venue, which is Beans and Boost, is a fictitious coffee shop. Okay. They're collecting Facebook data as people are logging in, and we can see things like the split of the male and female percentage. We can do things like showing the downloaded um, data per age range. And the nice thing about this interface is it, it's not fixed. So if the operator wants to add in uh, additional graphics, they can basically go in here, pick a particular report, such as uh, a gender split on a pie chart, you can then select the, the, the range that you want to see this in. And through the zone tree concept that we have, you can actually then select where you want to see this data from. So if you're really interested in the Greater London area, you can select that as a zone, click it, update it, and, and the system will. So what you showed us there were the actual venues where the That's where correct. the system is active, right? So it's a hierarchical zone tree right. that we have that allows you. It's not just a, a geographic view. You can also do it. If you're a hotel, you might want to split between, say, a budget and a, and a quality hotel, for example. So that's one half of our interface. The other, uh, the other pain, if you like, that the venues have is how to manage captive portals. Yes. And because getting a captive portal right across a range of different smart devices, like a smartphone or a tablet, it requires quite a lot of engineering yes. skill to be able yes. to build the website. Yes. So what we've been working on is actually then taking these captive portals and building what we call a template concept, where within the actual captive portal itself, we produce a template that has all the clever engineering things already in it. And as a, um, a venue owner, you're able to go in and actually modify different elements of this. So I'd like to yeah. just show you how this, this works. So here we, we're connected to the uh, the access controller that we have uh -huh. that controls this. We're able to then come in and bring up the capital ah, right. portal. Yes. And it shows here, welcome to Mobile World Congress, you know, yes. to, at the Beans and Boost. And we're able to then just do a click and connect and, and log into this. But let's say, for example, that you're the the, the portal owner and you want to modify this portal to, right. to have a different look and feel. Uh -huh. So what we'll do is we'll just pop this down a second. Uh -huh. And I'll show you how this is done. So here in the in the interface, Go back to the, yeah. you're able to actually select from uh, different media, and this can actually be loaded directly from your hard drive on your okay. machine, or it can be uh, brought up. And I have a little oh. extra portal. Oh, here you for prepared you. this very well. I have to <laughs> say, Simon. <laughs> so we we can modify the the, the background. Um, we can modify the, the header. Any elements that are actually oh, in the right. template. And we can even put a little picture of your fair self in there as well. So we do this around and it's not just limited to being able to change the graphics. We can also change um, anything we like about this interface as well. So we can actually in here change the, the, the text and the... Uh, so all of the text that's on here can be right. completely editable. And the nice thing about this is rather than make it a complicated interface for the end user, yeah. you as the operator you get to specify which elements are, yes. are editable. And as an end user you just come in here and you can even do things like look at it on a tablet view and yes. see how that's actually going to look to the end user, even on a smartphone device, to get a good idea of what, what it's going to look like before you push it to the, uh, to the server. So once you're happy with the way that your portal looks, you simply have a look at this view, you update it on the system, and now it's it's updated. And now if we just go back to this again and get a, a web session up, we should be able to see what that actually looks like on, on the end user device. So, again we go in and uh, jump out of this and go for a redirect and there you can right. see that in the space of 30 seconds yes, I've yes, generated yes, yes, a completely yes, custom yes. portal. Right. So it, it really is as simple as that. Well I think it's so cool that you've moved into this space and I love the demo and Thank congratulations you. for the launch of the product and I know you guys have been working extremely hard on this and it's, by the way not an easy product to even specify and design I know that so uh, wish you lots of luck with it it's looking really really good. Thank you so much Simon for, for the uh, for the demo and Absolute have pleasure. a great congress. Thank you very much. Right, thanks. We dare to say, no one knows carrier Wi-Fi services better than we do.